Hoy en Kobe Pro Wrestling, Luis G. Rich defiende el título de televisión en contra de John Boy Justice. Hablamos con el ex campeón de peso pesado, Batsuka Joe. Y en nuestra pelea estelar, Big Buddha se enfrenta a Crazy Shay. Kobe Pro Wrestling arranca ya mismo. Hola, sean todos bienvenidos a una edición más de Kobe Pro Wrestling Y hoy les tenemos una pelea estelar que no se pueden perder Crazy Shay se estará enfrentando a Big Buddha Estos fueron mejores amigos en un tiempo Ahora son rivales y estarán peleando en una pelea donde todo será permitido Pero antes déjenme contarles que algunas estrellas de Kobe Pro Wrestling se hicieron presentes en una firma de autógrafos con un invitado muy especial. Veamos de qué se trata esto. Yeah, the lunatic army. We're up. We're growing the numbers. I had to make more shirts. We got too big. It happens, I guess, right? Thanks all my lunatics for keeping it uh, crazy. Uh, I'll do my best to uh, stay crazy. Love you guys. This is Covey Pro. I'm Crazy Shay. Big John Green. We're with the mayor, Ms. Susan Webster of Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. The best little town. Come out and see us. The shops are wonderful. The people are even greater. What could more what more could you possibly ask for? Oh, come on out. This is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful town. All year long, this is the place to be. Come on out to beautiful downtown Berkeley Springs. We'll make it worth your while. This is Crazy Shay. I'm here with Kimberly at Kimberly's. If you need anything, if you need a bed, they got a bed. If you need a dresser, there's a dresser. If you need plates, they got plates. It's just a little bit crazy in here, in a good way. Uh, come out, help support the town. You've got great people, a great environment, and uh, you've got to come out to Kimberly's, because uh, me, I'm about to go shopping myself. Uh, thank you, Kimberly, everything you did. Welcome again to the neighborhood. She's always around in one of the great favorites in Berkeley Springs. Thank you, doll. This went great. This went really, really good. Really good. It ends the night, right? All or nothing, every one of us. It ends the night. This stops. It's time to get crazy. I've got my boy up there. I'm gonna kick his ass. He's going down tonight. It's happening. No Night. more playing. It's time to get crazy. Y ahora ha llegado el momento de que Luis G. Rich defienda el título de televisión en contra de John Boy Justice. Has a 10 minute time limit. And is for the Kali Pro TV Championship. Introducing. 
coming first. From Texarkana, Texans. I just put my gun on my head and the right to the rest. I'm a guy who's a boss on this highway. So watch out what you're doing when you're driving my way. If you break the law, you'll hear from me. I know I'm working for the state. And there's what it's all about, the television title. Indeed it is, and this is something that actually started there in the Rumble last month. John Boy eliminating. And Lewis G starts off things quick, hot and heavy with right hands in the corner. Here comes the big Irish whip. And an even bigger back elbow. It didn't take him off his feet though. Doesn't seem to bother Lewis G at all. He's raining in the right hands and shoulder kicks. And there's a boot to the head that puts John Boy down. Oh, that's gonna burn. A Gre as you would put it, a Greco-Roman rake to the eyes. You are correct. And choke on the rope. That is a rear nerve lock. And a big headbutt from Lewis G. Make it two, and John Boy goes down. Into a quick cover, fails to hook the leg, John Boy out the back door. Well, you gotta admit, unarguably, Louis G. Rich, the greatest television champion in the history of Covey Pro Wrestling. I don't, that may be arguable, but nothing can be argued about the fact the man has earned everybody's respect after that match he had last month with Bazooka Joe. And then he still came out to the Rumble and lasted a long time till John Boy Justice had to stick his nose in there. He's like a buzzard picking out a carcass. Lewis G making him pay, and nice diving cannonball back elbow into the corner. 
LGR is showing why he's the man. Louis G is just making it appear he feels he, he still feels he should be the heavyweight champion and he's making John Boy pay for it. Not the place you want to be if you're John Boy Justice. Louis G with them thumbs deep in John Boy's eyes. He doesn't do it because he has to, he does it because he wants to. You are exactly right. Right back in that ample bread basket of Doughboy Justice again. Louis G just showing no respect whatsoever for John Boy Justice. Well, after what John Boy Justice did to him at the Rumble, why should he show him? He's going for swift justice. Louis G. Louis G slid out the back and lucky him. Hola, soy Juan Antonio Acevedo y esto es Kobe Pro Wrestling. Disfruta de la acción inigualable de la lucha libre sábados de mediodía a la una de la tarde, solo por LA TV. Hello, Covey Pro Nation. This is Big John Green. Hey, have you ever thought about becoming a professional wrestler, a referee, a ring announcer? If you want to get in on the action, come on down. Give us a call at 304 298 2192 or 240 421 1938. Join us at our Covey Pro Dojo for training for you to become a professional. We're located right behind the Earth Dog Cafe on 522 in beautiful downtown Berkeley Springs. Hola, amigos. Soy Adriana. Y si tú eres un empresario, este mensaje es para ti. Kobe Pro Wrestling está cambiando la cara del entretenimiento. Cada semana le traemos no solo la mejor acción dentro del ring, sino también coberturas sobre todos los eventos más relevantes en el área y entrevistas exclusivas que no verán en ningún otro show. Los invito a que formen parte de la revolución del entretenimiento y promocionen sus productos con nosotros. Llámenme para platicar de nuestros paquetes introductorios. La información está en pantalla. La revolución del entretenimiento ya empezó. No te quedes afuera. champion's favor. John Boy Justice has to beat Lewis G. Rich. Lewis doesn't have to beat John Boy. That's why John Boy's been so aggressive with these double axe handles and right edge chops and being very forceful out here on the outside. He went to finish it already. He went, now he's taking time to go celebrate with Charlie Brown. If he would have hit, down. If he would have hit Swift Justice, it would have been done and over with. You're right, if he would have hit it, if, you gotta wonder, though, with the heart we've seen out of LGR, if it really would have been over. Generally, when he hits with Justice, it is indeed over, but... Running after, shoulder block from John Boy Justice. Well, time is not. Beautifully executed Bulldog. Into the cover, failed to hook the leg. Lewis G gets the shoulder off with ease. Well, I was gonna say, time is not on John Boy's side until that Bulldog. Oh, well, there goes John's plans for tonight. Time 
is always on the champion side in a television title match. We got a little under five minutes left in this match. Left in this match. And Lewis G, he doesn't have to fight this hard in this situation, but it shows the heart of a champion this man has shown. It is a vicious, vicious attack. And again, working into the ribs. And a big hook and close line. That's got to be it. Lewis G into the cover, hooks the leg. Only two, but not by much. A very, very close two. Lewis G right back to work with them boots to the head on John Boy Justice. And the Let's Go John Boy chant going over the arena. I hope that dies. Woke John Boy up for a second, but Lewis G cut that off as quickly as he could. Set it up. Beautifully executed Hangman's neck break. Right back over. into the cover. Only two. Lewis G failed to hook the leg. Charlie Brown yelling at John Boy to get up. Somebody needs to sit Charlie Brown down before he falls down. It seems to have fired John Boy Justice right up with them right hands and shoulder blocks to the midsection. Lewis G sat on the top rope and takes another shot to the bread basket, rights and lefts. What in the world? This is something we've not seen from John Boy Justice. You don't see him go off much, and there's a reason for it. But this is something you do see quite a bit. Lewis G. Rich going to the top, but he's not. Oh, he just returned the favor. Lewis G. takes the post the hard way. As my partner would say, right in the snippets. Right in the snippets, yep. John Boy setting for a superplex. Oh, did you see the impact? Both men must have bounced a good six to ten inches. I think the ring bounced a good three to six inches as well. His fans are even closer now as it shifted this way. There's three and a half minutes left in this. And the ref's up to seven. But these two men are still on their knees trading blows, back fighting. Shut the heart of LGR just fighting back. The revolution lives on, but now John Boy. There we go. That's what we needed. Both these men showing incredible heart. Lewis G doesn't have to fight this hard for the Beautiful clothesline from John Boy Justice. Lewis G doesn't have to be fighting this hard. He can run the clock out. But Lewis G is a fighting champion. There's a big kick to the gut. Two minutes and 50 seconds still left in the Going for Swift Justice, he nailed it. Oh no. Swift Justice. Oh no, you gotta get out. But look at this. Smart, smart move. Ring awareness. He just rolled himself out into the floor. If he's counted out, he's not gonna lose that title. LGR is a very smart ring general. You're absolutely right. Getting to the outside favors LGR. If he gets counted out, big deal. He loses the match, he keeps the title. You're exactly right. Unfortunately, John throwing him back in. And That's the only thing John could do. He has to take it to Lewis. Time is not on John's side. Time is on Lewis's side. And now he's in trouble. Oh no, I think I think I know what's coming up here. He's setting it up. Oh my god! You know what this means, Chris? Oh yeah. The brain buster followed by the elbow. This has got to be the nail in the coffin. Somebody sit Charlie Brown down. LGR's brain buster can finish off most men on his own. And he nails the elbow. You combine it with that elbow, that's it. It's Game done. over. What? There's no way. John Boy kicked out of the elbow after the brain buster? There's no way. Nobody kicks out of the brain buster alone. You couple that with the elbow, nobody gets out of that. That, uh, that combination finished off in a, in a two out of three fall situation. That combo finished off our current champion, Bazooka Joe, for one fall. Right, now look, he is waiting. He is waiting for just... Oh my God! Swift Justice! He caught him in Swift Justice! Ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe what...
what I just saw. Lewis Key Rich got caught with Swift Justice off the second rope. We have a new television champion. I can't believe it either. And like you said, LGR did not have to fight that hard. LGR had it. I mean, time was on his side. 56 seconds is all he had to wait. But it only takes three. And tonight, John Boy Justice was able to have the three in his corner. It's hard to believe, but we have a new television champion. It's John Boy Justice. Felicidades a John Boy Justice que se ha convertido en el nuevo campeón de televisión en Kobe Pro Wrestling. Lastimosamente esta celebración tendrá que ser muy corta porque ya se ha anunciado que en tan solamente 7 días, junio 7, Kobe Pro Wrestling estará presentando a Hard and Bother desde el Kobe Pro Sportatorium en Berkeley Springs, West Virginia y John Boy Justice tendrá que defender el título de televisión en contra de CEO. Veamos la cartelera completa de este evento. Así es que ya saben, este 7 de junio, John Boy Justice estará defendiendo el título de televisión por primera vez en contra de CEO. Y bueno, hablemos de lo que pasó al principio del show. Vimos como Crazy Shay fue atacado por Big Buddha y sus amigos. Ahora escuchemos qué es lo que Crazy Shay tiene que decir. You know, it's just dawned on me. It's taken four months of getting beat to the point where I had to go to the hospital where I waited for days to be able to walk. And it's just getting till today when you jump me with your little cronies that you're no longer my friend. I'm a little thick headed. Yeah, gotcha, okay. But now I know something. You weren't my friend. You were never my friend. You were riding my coattails and let me tell me, you were a big SOB to carry. My back hurts. <laughs> now that I know that you're not my friend, that you're my rival, my enemy, my nemesis. Tonight, all or nothing, eight, eight times I have been tested and eight times the lunatic army has had my back. And at the end, the lunatic army stands strong. Eight times, Buddha. You've got six. I've got two more on you and let me tell you, all of the lunatics are coming. And tonight, I'm feeling extra crazy. Buddha, you better bring everything you got because you're going to need more than an army. You know, you say there's more Buddhists than lunatics, right? Well, let me tell you, Gandhi himself was a lunatic lighting himself on fire, baby. He was one of mine. You don't know how many of yours are really mine. Isn't that crazy? Crazy Chess estará enfrentando a Big Buddha hoy en nuestra pelea estelar. Ahora es momento de una pequeña pausa, no se muevan de donde están. Hola, soy Juan Antonio Acevedo y esto es Kobe Pro Wrestling. Disfruta de la acción inigualable de la lucha libre sábados de mediodía a la una de la tarde, solo por LA TV.
Hello, Covey Pro Nation. This is Big John Green. Hey, have you ever thought about becoming a professional wrestler, a referee, a ring announcer? If you want to get in on the action, come on down. Give us a call at 304-298-2192 or 240-421-1938. Join us at our Covey Pro Dojo for training for you to become a professional. We're located right behind the Earth Dog Cafe on 522 in beautiful downtown Berkeley Springs. Hola amigos, soy Adriana. Y si tú eres un empresario, este mensaje es para ti. Kobe Pro Wrestling está cambiando la cara del entretenimiento. Cada semana le traemos no solo la mejor acción dentro del ring, sino también coberturas sobre todos los eventos más relevantes en el área y entrevistas exclusivas que no verán en ningún otro show. Los invito a que formen parte de la revolución del entretenimiento y promocionen sus productos con nosotros. Llámenme para platicar de nuestros paquetes introductorios. La información está en pantalla. La revolución del entretenimiento ya empezó. No te quedes afuera. Hola de nuevo, están en sintonía de Kobe Pro aquí por LA TV y déjenme contarles que hoy en nuestra pelea estelar Crazy She estará enfrentándose a Big Buddha una rivalidad que ha durado ya por muchos meses pero hoy termina cuando ambos se enfrenten en una pelea Hardcore Rules pero bueno, ahora hablemos de la semana pasada porque Bazooka Joe estaba defendiendo el título de peso pesado en contra de Big Ace Montana veamos qué fue lo que pasó And there it goes. It is cinched in and all over. Who knew? Joe bringing out Sergeant Slaughter. Ace is down. He got not only is he having to deal with the effects of the sleeper, he's having to carry Joe's weight as well. Somebody needs to get Charlie Brown back. This man, this move can put you to sleep very quickly. Somebody needs to get Charlie Brown out of there. I don't trust that man at all. He's too far away from the rope. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it, Ace! Look at it! Come on, Ace, He's still showing signs of life, but that arm has gone limp. Charlie Brown telling him to look at it. Look at that belt. Bazooka Joe has it in tight. Hand ropes once. There's two. One more time, and this is done. I can't believe it. I thought he was done. Joe fires back with an even midsection and shoots Ace to the outside. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like Wrigley here. You catch a wrestler, you gotta throw him back in. You don't get to keep him. It looks like Joe's running the count out. I spoke too soon. Joe going up to the top, diving. Diving, plunging to the outside from the big Joe. And both men are down. We almost had another incident, so take a rest of the home, right? These fans in the first couple rows are definitely getting their money worth. These fans in the first couple rows are in the danger zone. Get up, get up, get up. And Sean is up to four. I don't know. I mean, in the sea world, that would be called the splash zone. And Ace Montana was kind of sweaty, so put two and two together. We're up to eight. Joe slides in. We're up to nine. But Joe Slides went back out to break the count. Why would you break the count? Well, yeah, he, he, he doesn't want to be well, like that way. Why, why, why would you care? Why would you care how you beat him? You have to respect the fighting spirit of the Duke of Joe, but he had one. He had indeed. And that big elbow may have taken care of it anyway. Up to the leg. Only two. 
And see, now you really got to go back and question that call as to why you broke it up. Joe trying to get the fans behind him, but it's still split. I can't stand either one of them, so I really don't care. Is Joe calling for the Joe there? Yeah. He's going for that release northern right that we've seen him use so many times. But Big Ace with four jumps it up. And a big scoop slam. Boot to the midsection. And the pile drop. Oh my god. Banned in so many places because of just how dangerous that maneuver is. Exactly. That could snap your neck just like that. Leave you paralyzed and even take your life. And it appears that Joe's out. But Ace doing the same thing. Ace is wasting time. He's going up to the ropes. The I don't even know what the booze is going from. He's not going for a moonsault, is he? I would hope not. Moonsault! And he missed it. A moonsault for Big Ace Montana, but no one home. Both men down. Joe just rolls over a little bit more, put that arm across him, and you got this. Into the pin. Somehow. So get close. Up, Two by millimeters. I think Sean Kelly needs to get Ch Charlie Brown away from ringside. Now we got a Joe chance, Joe. Joe back up. I'm surprised he's standing after that power driver. But not only is he standing, he's firing up. Well, we got the Joe fans. I think all the ace fans have left the building because I don't really hear them anymore. There's a second one. There's a driving shoulder block for Bazooka Joe. You know what that usually leads to? Well, he signaled, he said it, he's going up. We may be seeing the Joe Zone layer. There's that removed. Release Northern Lights. Is he going to finish it? Electric home from Bazooka Joe. He's setting up that hard candy cannon and takes Ace Montana's head off. He just decapitated and turned him inside out, and that's all for Ace. Here's the hook of the leg. It should be academic. Ace kicked out. I can't believe it. Some of the fans are saying that was free, and I wouldn't have been a bit surprised if it was. I couldn't tell if they were saying that was three or Conway Twitty. Conway Twitty, I was right. He's up. Joe's own layer coming up. Ace strikes out. Into a car. Champion. Bazooka Joe getting taken out with the cutter from Big Ace Montana. He had him beat earlier. He, All he had to do was roll into the ring and stay there. Why did he even go back out? I have no idea, Chris. I really don't. I, it, it baffles me to think. And Joe's got to be sitting there right now hating himself, knowing that he had this. He had it won, just like you said. He shouldn't have. He shouldn't have played nice. He shouldn't have went back in there. We have a brand. We, we have a brand new champion. No, Joe was screwed. That's what happened. They won. Joe was screwed. He was shut up, Charlie Brown. You are the people. Ace, you the people. What are you saying, Johnny? Ace pinned the man. One, two, three. Joe had him before. Joe got screwed. Listen to these fans. They seem to agree with you, but Ace, Ace, Ace Montana pinned Bazooka Joe clean. One, two, three. There's no arguing that fact. Just Joe had it before. I love you like my old family. And you can do the right thing, and you can do the right thing.
you work hard enough, you can be a champion just like Big Ace Montana. Y después de la pelea pudimos platicar con Bazooka Joe y esto fue lo que nos dijo. Oh, you know, it was a tough one, man. Um, I thought I had him for sure. Long history, me and Ace. This is the third time we wrestled at All or Nothing. I just came up short, man. I mean, I'm not going to make any excuses. Tonight, Ace Montana was a better man. And we're just going to see where it goes from here. I mean, I'm not going to get this. I'm not going to let it take me down a notch. I'm just going to learn from it. And then... I'm gonna come back. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry I didn't get the job done tonight, but I'm gonna be back. But hey, Ace Montana, congratulations. La espera no será muy larga porque este 7 de junio, Kobe Pro Wrestling presenta Hot and Boulder desde el Sportatorium in Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. Y Bazooka Joe tiene el chance de recuperar su título cuando se estará enfrentando a Big Ace Montana. Veamos la cartelera completa de este evento. Es hora de una pequeña pausa más, pero al regresar tendremos la pelea estelar del día. Crazy Shay enfrentándose a Big Buddha. Hola, soy Juan Antonio Acevedo y esto es Kobe Pro Wrestling. Disfruta de la acción inigualable de la lucha libre sábados de mediodía a la una de la tarde, solo por LA TV. Hello, Covey Pro Nation. This is Big John Green. Hey, have you ever thought about becoming a professional wrestler, a referee, a ring announcer? If you want to get in on the action, come on down. Give us a call at 304-298-2192 or 240. 421-1938. Join us at our Cuppy Pro Dojo for training for you to become a professional. We're located right behind the Earth Dog Cafe on 522 in beautiful downtown Berkeley Springs. Hola amigos, soy Adriana. Y si tú eres un empresario, este mensaje es para ti. Kobe Pro Wrestling está cambiando la cara del entretenimiento. Cada semana le traemos no solo la mejor acción dentro del ring, sino también coberturas sobre todos los eventos más relevantes en el área y entrevistas exclusivas que no verán en ningún otro show. Los invito a que formen parte de la revolución del entretenimiento y promocionen sus productos con nosotros. Llámenme para platicar de nuestros paquetes introductorios. La información está en pantalla. La revolución del entretenimiento ya empezó. No te quedes afuera.
Empezamos este show viendo como Crazy Chef fue atacado por Big Buddha y sus amigos. Ahora escuchemos de Big Buddha. Crazy Chef. Six months is going to culminate into tonight. All or nothing eight. Big Buddha. Crazy Shay. No falls count anywhere. No DQ. I've taken you to the limit. And take a guy that's crazy to the limit <laughs> means you're not quite right up here yourself. I'll see you tonight, buddy. It's going to take your whole army to take me out. Y ahora sí, ha llegado el momento de la pelea estelar del día. Estos dos que en un momento fueron mejores amigos han estado peleando por los últimos meses y hoy esto llega a su final cuando se enfrenten en una pelea Hardcore Rules. Y esto empieza ya mismo. Introducing first. From Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Buddha. 
You are correct, and now Buddha's got a chair. Anything goes. You think these men aren't going to use oh. everything at their available hands? Right into the ribs again. That's the target for Buddha. He's got a bullseye on them ribs. He's worked those ribs every time. Irish whip, reverse, wheelbarrow position, try to slam him under the chair. Chase trying to counter it. Oh. Both took the brunt of that. Put it in the face and shade of the ribs. And that chair has seen better days for sure. That chair is probably done. And Shay, I don't know what happened to his shoes. Did you happen to see what happened to... They're crazy! Oh, no, I don't think he's... Gonna... Oh, look at the big punches to the ribs. He's wrapped around him like a spider monkey. Buddha drives Shay back into the corner and goes right back to work on the ribs with the shoulder blocks and punches. Oh, you can't breathe, you can't fight. And there's them huge cocoa bites. Look how bent that chair is from taking that impact. If that wasn't Buddha's face, it was Shay's ribs. The fans showing that they are firmly behind Big Buddha. Just the opposite. Hits him into a food for more arm bar. I don't think. And he's got the cross face of blood. That arm is trapped. Buddha has nowhere to go. Shay wrenching away on that cross face. Well, but Buddha's getting up someone. Big side slam. Boot into the cover. Only two. I can't believe. And we don't need this. The fans are going to love the support. But he's going to hook. Big tiger bomb. That shut him up. Only two. Well, at least it stopped the Shay chant. These people are firmly behind Crazy Shay. They love him and they let him know it. Well, these people can shut up because I don't like them. And I don't, hear, I don't care who knows it. I think I've said that quite a few times. Shay over the top of the outside, taking that corner of the apron to his ribs, the hardest part of the ring. That corner didn't do him any favors, and neither did that chair. Oh, so he just cleared out the front row, and they have seen a lot of action in that front row. We knew it was going to spill all over the place. These men have incredibly bad blood between them, and it's going to flow tonight. A crutch? Booty with a crutch in the back and neck of Freezy Shay, and now choking the man with Oh, wow. I didn't even see where Buddha got the crutch from. Looks like he swiped it from a fan. He just swiped the crutch from a fan? <laughs> Buddha's got another chair. Oh. Chair to the back of Crazy Shay. And those shots to the back have to be radiating through those injured ribs. Yeah, you know, the fan's right on top of this. Nobody's safe during this match. Let's make that perfectly clear. Yeah, we are not responsible for... I don't even know where they're at right now. They're, uh, they're over at the merch table. No, Shay's over here. Wait, wait, wait. Crazy T's in the house! He's not, he's not... He's not supposed to participate in this. Former tag partner, Crazy Shay. Buddha does not want to step to that. And the fans on their feet. I think the key word in this situation, distraction, a.k.a. sucker. Hola, soy Juan Antonio Acevedo y esto es Kobe Pro Wrestling.
disfruta de la acción inigualable de la lucha libre sábados de mediodía a la una de la tarde solo por LA TV Hello Covey Pro Nation, this is Big John Green Hey, have you ever thought about becoming a professional wrestler? A referee? A ring announcer? If you want to get in on the action, come on down Give us a call at 304-298-2192 or 240-421-1938. Join us at our Cuppy Pro Dojo for training for you to become a professional. We're located right behind the Earth Dog Cafe on 522 in beautiful downtown Berkeley Springs. Hola amigos, soy Adriana. Y si tú eres un empresario, este mensaje es para ti. Kobe Pro Wrestling está cambiando la cara del entretenimiento. Cada semana le traemos no solo la mejor acción dentro del ring, sino también coberturas sobre todos los eventos más relevantes en el área y entrevistas exclusivas que no verán en ningún otro show. Los invito a que formen parte de la revolución del entretenimiento y promocionen sus productos con nosotros. Llámenme para platicar de nuestros paquetes introductorios. La información está en pantalla. La revolución del entretenimiento ya empezó. No te quedes afuera. doing anything. Big Buddha given a pair of knocks by my comrade. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. There you go. To the head. Balls count anywhere, right? Anything goes. Anything goes. And Buddha's just laying in the shade with those knocks. There's got to be Oh, there's the bark, the alpha, and I bet there's blood all over those nuts. What? Buddha's feeling every moment of it, and those, those nuts are filthy, covered with blood. Covered with blood indeed. And they're coming this way. Come on, baby. Heading towards the bleachers. They're going up. Only one will probably be taking the proper way down. You keep it better clear all the way, it's not safe. Shay's head off the back of the building. And Shay is dazed. Shay is 
in a lot of trouble. Shay needs the bleachers. He looks like Oh, Shay tumbling down all the way. Shay takes the ride all the way to the floor. And he just landed right on his neck. His neck may be broken. But he's too stupid to stay down. His fans feed him with their energy. He doesn't stay down. A cheap shot with the garbage can. Buddha is down. And here comes Shay. Crazy. Shay. Crazy. Shay, don't. No, this ain't your fight. You stay out of it. You stay out Shay. of it. Shay. I know you want to hurt him. Shay, I know you want to hurt him. Shay, don't. Buddha. Come on. Come on. No. 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 Stop. No. No. Go to Elba. Come on. No. No. Donnie, don't you do it! No! 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 Cut it out! Both Donnie Diablo and his bodyguard are taken down by Crazy Shay. Shay's not even coming close to stopping, and here we go again with Buddha! Step in, kick to the stomach. From the top of the from the top of the backboard, and with a little help from the lunatic army, gets the three on a bloody and beaten big Buddha. Just in time, and Buddha fighting, arguing with each other. Just in time, and Donnie Diablo arguing, and the celebration goes on. Eight and zero, the army rides on. Yeah. Yeah.